everyone, welcome to yet another session of Do As Adult. Today I have with me the most inspiring person, like I personally am inspired. Welcome Sharad Gaipur. Thank you. So uh, to start with, I just want to, I, I really want to know something about you from your end, initially. Yeah. Uh, I started swimming at the age of 9 and it was a school program which uh, made all the kids to learn swimming. So I learned swimming uh, in Bangalore, Jainagar uh, PM Swimming Centre and the coaches helped me a lot over there to make sure I was comfortable learn learning how to swim. And then uh, I got to know that there are competitions conducted for the para athletes and I started training seriously. And uh, I made my first national team in 2003 uh, and I won four gold medals there. And uh, since then I've been uh, swimming non-stop. Now I've taken up coaching and uh, I'm coaching about 70 kids now. And I have, uh, uh, I've been to London 2012 Paralympic Games and I have uh, put seven medals in the Asian Games and I have an Arjun Award. Actually, I asked so to uh, you know tell about him so because I can't bahar all these. I mean, he's achieved those, and I, I just can't even bahar those. I mean, I really feel really amazing about this. I just uh, came across a profile where I got some of someone from your school or somebody who, who asked you to get into this. Is there any yeah. story behind how you got into swimming? Yeah, uh, when I was in 4th standard, uh, the school made it compulsory for all the kids to learn swimming. So I didn't have any option. When my parents tried to uh, confront the principal and ask them to uh, give an excuse, uh, for, especially for me, uh, the principal said it's, it's a life skill, so he needs to give it a try. Uh, if he can't do it, then let's stop it right there, uh, but uh, let's give, let him give it a try. So uh, the principal ma'am uh, you know, made sure that I got into the water and learned swimming. So you have started it at a young age. So when to start, often we also try to do new things which we think that it's impossible. And there comes a time where you go through an emotional breakdown. Many of the youths go. I mean, we need to learn inspiration and we need to know how to deal with that. What do you? What would you say for this thing? How do you, you know, come up with that thing that we cannot break down at any emotional times? See, uh, breakdowns are uh, natural. Uh, you know, any setback, you will always break down, especially at a very young age. But the m most important thing that I did was, what's my target? What's my dream? And uh, it was to be in the Paralympics. I, would, I, want, I wanted to be a Paralympic champion. So that kept me going. And of course, it's it's not just you. It's the whole uh, support system that you have with your coaches, with your parents, friends, uh, school, everyone. And uh, you know that helped me to uh, overcome all the issues that I had. But it's always challenging. Uh, you know, sometimes, uh, there, uh, especially when you're at a point where you're not winning or you're not improving your performance, and uh, you know. Those are the things that's really t tough to fight about, and when there are a lot of other influences, especially uh, you know which, which your friends are doing, uh, uh, like uh, it doesn't have to be a sport. It, it can be a, some something like gully cricket or just uh, hanging around, chatting, or playing video games. There are a lot of very bad influences that can easily take your mind off your uh, goals, but. Um, the main thing for me that worked is that Paralympic Games. I wanted to be there no matter what. So yes, leaders, so this is it, what everybody always tells you. But now you'll have a really live example in front of you. You'll have to struggle, you'll have to get through all the ups and downs and then you will reach here and one day even you will be sitting here and talking to me. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it was thanks. really nice.